I told you, the next time, the last time we see that exchange diary, it's really sad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what kind of friend? We're true friends? Like, Toga. Immediately, he doesn't even give a shit. You yep. don't even see him, like, you know, hesitating or thinking about it. He's just like... Whoa. He doesn't even say anything. He just throws it into the fire and just looks at it. Like We're going to see a lot of things in this show later on thrown into fire in a similar fashion. Yes, indeed we are. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, remember, this is the same show that had 10 billion power curry, right? So the same show that had all that silliness and Choo Choo, who makes a short appearance here. The same show. Yep. But this is here begins... Right, the taste of what is to come. Almost every episode from here on out, except for the few random silly ones, is going to be like this. And even then, the random silly ones are a lot more sinister as the show goes on. Mm. Like, Nanami episodes are kind of disturbing. Yeah, instead of laughing like, ha ha ha, it's not ha ha funny, it's like, hey, hey, hey. You're like, so that egg is a metaphor <laughs> for what now? <laughs> that uncomfortable <laughs> laughing like, hey. So Toga seems like the most awesome dude. And we always say like, yeah, Toga, he's the best. He is still the best. <laughs> It is. But this is the episode where you really start to see that Toka is probably evil. Right. Well, I mean, you you sort of have this just suspicion like, okay, there's these people who are in his position of power, right? Toga is, you know, way up high. He hasn't done anything outwardly evil. He hasn't said anything outwardly evil. He has manipulated right. people into doing things that are in his best interest. Ohayo, Kaoru Miki kun. <sighs> キミの妹は君に似て可愛いね。それに君に似て素直だ。おはようございます。本当に大切なものは自分の手に入れて守らなきゃ人に取られちまうぜ。ミッキー。But well, yeah, but it's like you don't know that he's a bad dude for sure, but it's like you just got you're just suspicious of anyone in such a high position of power and someone who's displayed mysteriously, right? When anyone who has mystery surrounding them, you automatically fill in all that mystery with bad intentions. Well, at least you should. If you don't, that's why your game master keeps surprising you with villains. Right. <laughs> so, you know, Toga finally just straight up in this episode is like, I am evil. <laughs> Yes, right? every scene where he is in, it'll cut to him kind of watching with that sort of smug look on his face like, uh-huh. Yeah, yep, everything's going according to plan. Yeah, and at the very end of the episode, he's like, data collected. I'm going to get the power of Dios and win. Game over. So let's step through. What was going on here. Obviously, Nanami murdered that cat. We'll get back to that. That's actually not the interesting part of this episode. That, That's that, the straightforward part of the episode. Yes, Nanami murdered the cat, jealous of her brother. Well, there's some incest. She pretty much doesn't let anything get in the way of her and, you know, Toga. Right? Yep. Anything that is between them two. She gave him a cat and then is like, oh, he's paying more attention to the cat now than me? You're dead. And Utena, you know, basically Utena doesn't have interest in Toga, right? But Toga set it up so yep. that it would look like it to Nanami that Utena was maybe going to get with Toga, right? By he, She even brought him flowers and everything, and she's like, uh. Uh, Stop paying attention to Utena, you! <laughs> Alright, so but now Nanami wants to kill Utena just like the cat. But there's subtle stuff going on here. It wasn't Toga's plan was not to get Utena to like him or to get Nanami to duel. Those are all just bumps in the way. Those are steps in his grand plan of beating Utena, getting the power of Dios, revolutionizing the world, whatever that means. Right. <laughs> And you know that Anthe is helping him. Mm -hmm. And you know that the end of the world is helping him. We know that explicitly now because of this episode. One, Toga had the ring to give to Nanami. Nanami, give me the right 
No one was like, Toga, where'd you get another ring? Yeah, end of the world helped him out. Hooked him up. Yup. Uh, so, Anthe happens to have a gift for Toga on his birthday that is a cat in a box? So that means Anthe knew. Yeah, Anthe knew. Uh, it's not a, how could it be a coincidence that Anthe got Toga a cat? Like, she always knew he wanted one? Yup. She's done this before. She's handed people uh, roses at inopportune times. <laughs> She's known things about people that she shouldn't have known. You should fill in all of Anthe's mysteries also with sinister hints, <laughs> right? It, that one's a little harder to do, but it's like, no, really, if anyone has any mystery about them, it's bad. It's very easy. The show it's not does... going to be good and pleasant things when the, in the <laughs> mysteries. The show does a very good job of really intimating you to Anthe, and she's really messed up and weird, but yet you start to get used to her, and because of her friendship with Utena, you'll always overlook her. But pay attention, she was just as deeply involved in Toga's plan as Toga and the end of the world was she bought the cat as a gift the box that the cat came in had a bow around it that was the color of nanami's flower yeah uh, she was there to make sure the cat was presented when everyone knew that nanami was hiding in the gazebo watching everything and there happened to be an orange rose hanging out there yeah she made sure nanami saw that they gave a cat to toga right it wasn't like some accident oh it's crazy coincidence no yep no so what was Toga's plan specifically? He got her to duel. Right, well up until now you thought he was just trying to get new tennis pants. Yeah. Baby. Which maybe he is. I don't think he would mind that. I think that's a, that's a secondary objective. Right, but you know, from, from the end of the episode, you're 100% sure he wants to win the duel and just be the winner, right? And his student council president, you think he would have been the winner at the beginning, but I guess Sionji was? Well, notice already at the very beginning in the student council meeting, they talk about how in the sequence, per the letters from the end of the world, there is another duel. It is Toga's turn. But Toga now has a convenient excuse to not have to duel. Oh, he got hurt on purpose? Yeah. <laughs> Oh. oh, and also notice, despite how nice uh, both Jury and Mickey are as people from this point, after they've kind of had their earlier duels, they're still in it to win it. Mm. They both are like, fine, I'll duel. No, yeah, I'll duel. like, I'll do it. Yeah, it's like, it's like, wait a minute, weren't you all nice with Utena after your duel? It's like, no, we, you know, yeah, you haven't seen, you just saw Mickey and Utena sort of hanging out, even Nanami, remember hanging out, giant octopuses come into the closet, that's yep. gone now. But remember, you don't see them hanging out anymore. No matter how friendly anyone is, anyone who has a duelist ring is in this to win whatever it is, destroy the world, whatever's going on, they want it as much as all the other characters even want Utena, it. Even Utena, who doesn't even know what it is, she knows even less about it, she doesn't even know ends of the world is a thing, she's never heard that term. Before. Never gotten a letter. She still wants to win. In fact, she wants to win enough to where notice how she does not even question these duels anymore. Yep. She's duel happens. Like, she's she's like, like, oh, there's a duel? I'm going to kick your ass. There's yep. no way you're winning. But Toga's plan was so subtle. He got Nanami to duel. Mm -hmm. And then in the duel, the power of Dios came down. And notice how he watches. Like, oh, there it is. He's there hanging out. Who's hung out? He watching? wasn't hanging out by the bells like he usually does. He's down on the ground, right? Right in that arena. Yep. Now, he was there for two reasons. One, to stop Nanami after he won and got his thing. Otherwise, Nanami would have just killed Utena. <laughs> <laughs> and two, he was there to see the power of Dios up close. He saw the power of Dios come down. He saw Nutana win the duel with the power of Dios. 
and then Nanami. Right, he didn't want to fight Utena. He could have just fought Utena in the sequence, but you know, why didn't he? He probably he's an awesome dude. Why wouldn't he beat? Because Utena? he knows Sayonji's an awesome dude who lost twice to that power. So she had he had to get. And he's always been watching from afar with his binoculars, and I guess he didn't feel he knew enough about what he needs to know in order to win. Now he's like, I know what I need to know to win this. And look what happened in so the as soon duel. as he's healed, he's going after it. He is. <laughs> so Nanami lost the duel. And then pulls a fucking knife and tries to kill Utena. And the power, For the power of Dios... She lost right away, too. Like, bam, you lose. Does not come back. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Does not protect Utena. In fact, had Toga not intervened, Anami might have stabbed Utena in the face. Probably, yeah. It was only Toga being there to stop her that prevented her. So he didn't just know that she would duel. He knew, to test his hypothesis, that she would try to kill Utena because he knows she is perfectly capable of killing. Just like she was killing the cat, she's going to kill Utena. Right. So why did she kill the cat? Is it so simple as she's jealous? She just, she, I, you know, I mean, the show presents it as she doesn't want Toga to pay any attention to anything but her, right? It's only, her, his smile is only for me, not for anyone else. Yep, so he, he is even, her prince. So- <laughs> Even if she still gets like a majority of his time, if he spends like a minute with someone else, he's like, she's like, I can't have that. But at the same time, she very rarely, if ever, acts directly. You see her almost being a little bit conflicted. Notice how she didn't just kill the cat. She didn't just strangle it or something. She put it in a box and did something indirect. Mm-hmm. She pushed it, and then it was killed later after it was too late for her to intervene at the critical moment. She looks back at the cat and is obviously disturbed. She's sorry, but at the same time, she almost has to continue to be this ruthless going forward to keep Toga, because if she loses Toga... She's got nothing. (laughs) Then that cat's death also meant nothing. She killed that cat for nothing. That's true, too. So she is haunted by this memory. I mean, she was not apologizing to Toga about the duel. She was apologizing about the cat. Right, you can tell by, because while she was talking and apologizing, what were they showing? They were showing the cat killing scene. They weren't showing the, you know, oh, I'm sorry, the stabbing, right? Yep. Bringing out the knife. She wasn't sorry for bringing out a knife. And also, she still, she still threatens Utena with the broken knife. <laughs> <laughs> even at the end, even after Toga stops her. So she, there's another kind of creepy moment. Inces- she doesn't feel sorry for Utena the way she feels sorry for Not the cat. Not at all. <laughs> But uh, incest comes up in the show a lot. I mean, Mickey's story arc, Mm -hmm. it's there. It's hanging out. (laughs) There's a lot of incest all over the place. But in this case, remember in her memory, Toga was her prince. He kissed her on the forehead. He saved her from the family. He accepted her gift graciously. They like Now he's like, we're too old for that shit. Yes, but he knows. Oh, he it's knows. obvious that when he she... Even, he even says that. He's like, yeah, Nanami has sort of a big brother complex. Just says it straight up. Everyone's like, oh, the show is so weird. How... No, he just says that, literally. Yeah, and then... He knows it. And it's reinforced by everything you see going on. He knows that she has this issue, and he manipulates her. When she tries to stop him from fighting, he leans in and kind of creepily, like, brushes brushes her lips with his thumb, like, oh, long pause, and then, (laughs) we're too old for that. You're not a young girl anymore. Ha ha, ha ha ha. (laughs) But he knows. He's using this, and he's going to use it again. He's going to keep using this throughout the show, and this becomes a big theme later in the show. Uh, is so, that, this episode really, that's pretty much all that happened, right? Yeah. Is there anything? But think about the huge revelations. The revelations are that Anthe is helping Toga 
win her. Yep. What does that mean? He's helping her win him win her in this duel mm -hmm. that is upcoming. Even though up until now, Anthe has only ever helped the person who was the current winner, right? Yep. But she'll help Toga is the first time she's ever helped someone who is not currently in charge. She's also helping Toga get into Utena's pants because when Utena's all sad in the corner like, oh, woe is me, and they have that conversation, She's the one who... Why, why didn't she go visit him? Yeah, she speaks as though she's already read Utena's mind, knows what she's thinking about, and actually suggests to go visit Toga. One, so she can give the cat gift and cause the duel, and two, to help Toga's interest, because in the duel at the end, Toga is the big brother. He stops Nanami, and then he's like, well, this is just what princes do. He needed Utena to see that. That's all he's been, you know, once he figured that was his, you know, his fine, he was, he already collected most of the data, right? His final data collection was, you know, no, seeing how the power of Geos worked, but also being like, aha, the Prince thing is working. Yeah, I finally got it right. So he, you know, he pulled it out big time. He's yeah. like, yeah, that's what princes do. You know, he did one Prince before and he's like, did it work? Prince, Prince, Prince. It totally worked. Yeah, <laughs> Prince, 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 Prince. It's working. I'll just keep with this. Thank you.